Hello, my name is Gil with the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop located right here in San Diego, California. Today I want to show you something that's really cool. It's a multi-purpose tool and we call it the MDT, which stands for Magazine Disassembly Tool. And uh, you probably got a good idea of what happens with this right now, but let me give you some history. You know, if you watch any of my videos here on this YouTube channel or on our website, uh, there are several of them that I actually uh, take the base plate off of the magazine for a variety of reasons. You know, either one, to uh, install an extension, uh, two, to put a different color extension or a different uh, a color base plate with a, uh, a, uh, an engraving on it, or three, to take it apart and actually clean it with a tool. Uh, so there are some reasons to take this apart. Um, many shooters know that when you are running around shooting in the desert or running around shooting anywhere, really, if you let the magazine drop on the ground, dust will collect inside of it. After a while, as you load it, the follower sounds a little gritty, doesn't sound good. So, you know, you basically take the, uh, the magazine base plate off, you pull the magazine out, you can brush that inside. Uh, you can also just put this in some water and shake it out, put it in your dishwasher if you want. Don't, don't be too hot because you don't want it to melt. But um, you can do a variety of different things with it. Uh, and then when you uh, just let it dry completely, when you reassemble it, all you have to do is just put the spring back in. There's no oil required inside here. In fact, it's, it's discouraged to put oil inside this because it will gather and um, grab junk. But now, back to the uh, point. So there's a reason to take the base plate off. I've shown it a couple, a couple of different times. And the, the method I show is typically to take one of the punches from your punch set. If you look here, this is our, our standard punch set. We sell a ton of these things. It's very popular because it has a variety of different punches. It has a nice little hammer with a nylon head. Super cool item. Uh, but here's how this works. So you basically put the punch inside the hole in the bottom and just muscle it off. And what happens is a lot of people say, well, yeah, we make it look easy. And certainly, you know, it's not easy. It's, it's, it's a little bit more difficult than, uh, uh, than I make it look. But the bottom line is uh, it can be done. And, and typically the, the technique there is you get inside there and you actually stand on top of it and, you know, really get some muscle or some shoulder weight onto it. It's hard to do out here. Uh, that being said, uh, I've used a variety of different punches over the years. And the reason I like this punch set is because it's so strong and so stout. But even like this punch, if you notice here, you'll see that it's not quite straight anymore. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there you go. It's a little crooked. Uh, uh, it was straight. And, you know, this is because I actually got in there and actually tried to do that. And, you know, so you can ruin a punch if you don't have a really good punch. Uh, but all that said is that, you know, even though I've demonstrated that and I've done it and, you know, people, you know, kind of understand the technique and the concept, every week we get a call from a guy or someone who says, you know what, I can't get the magazine base plate off. I've tried it just like you said, I, you know, it's just not going to work. You know, I put the thing in there and, uh, you know, I'm not able to, uh, to get it to, uh, to function properly. What am I doing wrong, you know? So, um, you know, we say, well, you got to put some muscle on it, got to put some shoulders on it, but still they can't do it. So, you know, after a while, I thought, well, there's got to be a better way, and this is basically it. This is that magazine disassembly tool we talked about. Uh, you'll notice here there's a little post, okay, and then there's a little lever right here. Okay, it's really, that's the trick right there, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our post into our hole, okay? And now you can see it, right? So we say, we like to say on the packaging, as easy as one, two, three. So step number one is post into the hole. Step number two is make sure you get your thumb up on top of that thing. And step number three is just to crank it down. So it's, it's just a simple downward motion and boom. That easy, do you see it? Just like that. And then I can go ahead and get myself into here and actually, you know, take this thing apart should I want to, okay? And there we go. And here we have all of our magazine spring, <clears throat> magazine follower, magazine body. And, of course, this is called the insert plate. And it's the one that has the corresponding little post right there. All right. And while we're here, we'll just go ahead and, and reassemble this. You know, the follower only goes in one way. So if we put it in there, we'll stop halfway down there. Make sure it seats itself. <clears throat> Get your insert plate and line up the uh, square edge with the square edge. I'm going to push the spring down. And be careful. You know, you really should have safety glasses on. I'm going to recommend that you wear safety glasses. And you be careful not to let this thing go flying across the room because it can hurt someone. Once you hold the spring in, then we want to get our base plate on top of that guy. Like so. And... Capture the base plate with your thumb, just like that. That's the insert plate, excuse me, and put the base plate back on. And then you just kind of let it slide up over top here. And let's see if I can get this guy going here. And just like so. And that's always a good little snap. You can see the uh, little insert plate post jumped into that hole. That's what keeps it on there, just like that. Now, the magazine disassembly tool, 
there's my phone, let me just kill that real quick. My magazine disassembly tool, the MDT, <coughs> works on all standard Glock magazines with a standard base plate. Uh, if it has an extended base plate, it may not be able to get the lever ejection. It's going to work on the small magazines from the 42 and 43 as well. So again, we're just going to go one. We're going to go ahead and get our thumb up on top there. And we're going to crank that down just like that. And two. And look at that. It's halfway off. Now we just thumb it off just like I did before. Make sure to capture that insert plate with your uh, thumb so it doesn't go flying across the room. All right, and this is a uh, Glock 26, 27 magazine, same concept. These are going to be a little harder because you don't have as much to hold on to. But again, step number one, in. Step number two, make sure I put my thumb on top there. And step number three is just to crank down. And again, I'm going to bring my hands in closer because I got a little bit more strength here than I do out here. And just tweak it down, just like that. And I hope you got to see that. And that's how it's going to end up. And you want it to be halfway off, and then you can thumb it off the rest of the way. So, like I said, this is our magazine disassembly tool. And uh, at the beginning, I told you it's a dual purpose tool. Uh, you know, we make these right here in our machine shop in San Diego. And yes, we do have a full machine shop with uh, eight CNC machines, and uh, we make all kinds of great stuff. All the things you see that we, uh, we sell on our website, we make the magazine buttons and the extensions and all that good stuff, as well as we're making these MDTs, and we make slides and triggers and all kinds of great stuff here uh, in America, in the USA, and we sell it, you know, really kind of direct to you. Um, after you're uh, uh, done, you know, with all the guns, and you've uh, got all the ammunition and all the guns put away, the MDT actually has another purpose. <clears throat> and it can be used as a bottle opener. Now watch this. Okay, simply like that. And I put a little notch on here, and we just tweak it up just like that. So that's our dual purpose MDT, ready for you right now to help you take your magazine base plates off. And when you're all done shooting, all the guns are put away pop up a cold one for me and for you. I'm Lenny McGill. This is the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop right here in San Diego. If you're ever down in San Diego, come visit us. We've got a great facility for uh, not only the retail stuff, but also for shooting. And I invite you to come down and visit. Thanks for watching.